Hey guys, so a few of you have been asking now about how to kind of get into selling your 3D models, you know, where to sell them, how to do marketing, and like what type of stuff to design and everything if you want to get into selling your 3D models. And obviously I'm not an expert or anything on any of these things. I just thought I would share my experiences and the things that I do that have been helpful for me and kind of growing my platform and community. So I figured kind of there are kind of three main things that I think will go into this. I'll do three separate videos, which is like, what are the platforms that I host and sell models on and subscriptions on? You know, what type of models and things themselves or qualities about those models that are good? And then also the marketing, which I know is what kind of the thing that everybody struggles with, right? So I figured starting off with where do I even put out my 3D models? You know, where do I distribute and sell them to get started? is uh, the main platforms that I sell individual model sales on is Colts 3D, My Mini Factory, and Thanks. So those all, you know, have their different pros and cons in different communities that access them in different ways to get exposure in those areas. Colts 3D was the one I started out with first, and it is probably one of my highest consistent sales for individual sales sources. It has a, it's a really big platform. They're pretty good about sharing, um, you know, their models on social media and things like that. So that is a really good one. And they're also easy to just jump right in, set up, post up your models, list your prices, all that. My mini factory is nice. I did my mini factory as a storefront and their tribes subscription model, which I'll talk about the subscription model in a second. Um, but for them, it's a little bit harder, I think, to get in as a brand new designer because they have a upfront subscription fee to use their storefront or tribes platform. You know, any, basically if you want to monetize any of your models on their platform, you have to pay upfront a monthly fee, which does make it a little bit harder to kind of dip your toes in if you're a brand new designer, but you know, they do a good job once you kind of get some traction. And my mini factory does do a good job of paying for its keep, basically. Fangs is my newest platform and it's a great one because they are super easy to upload and mass upload all your files on there with their, with their new sync feature. And they are also awesome about, you know, resharing social media posts, models, and all that of their designers. They're really supportive of their designers. The team is awesome. So those are the three that I do all my individual sales. As far as pricing, people have asked me about how do I figure out pricing? Um, and again, this is just why I ended up doing, I'm not an expert by any means. Really, I just looked at other designers, like whatever some of the most popular designers when I started and kind of similar things that they were doing to what my avenue was is, you know, I looked at their stuff and how they were pricing their individual sale models, which was usually between two to four dollars you know, for a model, because for me, for the individual model sales, you know, I'm looking for quantity and really the individual model sales is a passive income for me, you know, whereas the Patreon is where I'm really investing and constantly having to put out new stuff. Whereas the individual model sales, I do them and I keep them updated and I do customer service, but once I put them up there, each sale I'm not doing work for, if that makes sense. So I price them lower than I would say like a commission custom piece, obviously. Um, and so the, I, all of my models nowadays are like $3. That's kind of the good in between price that I found. And so that seems affordable to me. And also it just like makes it easier on my brain to just be like, everything's just gonna be $3 instead of having to like nitpick pricing everywhere on each model. So that just makes it easier for me and it kind of has an expectation of what you're gonna get from me. Um, as far as subscription places, where I have my subscriptions, my prices and all that, I'm on Patreon Tribes, which is my mini factory's subscription platform, and then also Thangs memberships. And all of my rewards and pricing for all of my memberships on all platforms are the same. For anybody who signs up, you get the same welcome pack, the same models, the same pricing, all of that. Um, really the difference is just the file distribution system, the notification system, and really the platform that whatever the customer prefers. 
you know, I have a lot of people asking me, you know, what is the best platform to join if they want to support me? And I'm like, honestly, they're all great. I appreciate any platform you want to join. Um, it just really depends on, you know, your preference of how you want to receive and have your models. Patreon is really great for, you know, first of all, everybody knows Patreon. People trust Patreon. So there's a rapport there already. And Patreon, I actually distribute files through my own website because they don't have a super great built-in file distribution set up for them because, you know, they're not made for 3D models specifically. But so I distribute files through my own website, but I love Patreon because, again, it has a reputation, it has a rapport, and it also has a really easy communication system with, you know, group messaging and direct messaging and comments and all that. It's really easy to communicate with my patrons and see all my stats and who's joining and what's going on there. Tribes is my mini factory subscription service, which again, to either have a tribes or a storefront, either one, you have to pay that upfront subscription fee to my mini factory to be able to monetize. And so once you do that, tribes has, doesn't have quite as many analytics and things for me to look at individual members and things, but what my mini factory does really well is it has a fabulous um, like archive distribution. And so like any files that get archived that are gonna go away from you know last month or whatever, the members can still keep those files in their library on my mini factory. I actually use my mini factory in tandem with Patreon each month when my Patreon files go to archive. Patreon members get a link from my mini factory with those files to kind of keep in a library that way they don't lose them. And so that's where my mini factory really shines. Um, and Thangs is awesome because Thangs, again, in general, they are great about helping promote their designers and their model distribution and upload system is by far the easiest out of all the other platforms that I've worked on. And so like Thangs is the easiest for me to maintain and keep up with. You know, they have a really great distribution system of automatically having, you know, your welcome pack. When you upload a file, you can choose it goes in the welcome pack, it goes to this month, and then they kind of automatically distribute and organize files for you for your members as they join. Um, as for how you have your membership set up. So that is really great. And so those are kind of the platforms that I'm on. And for my subscription models, again, I just looked at mostly what everybody else was doing around me, right? So most people doing similar work to me, a lot of the Patreon kind of standard is $10 a month for X amount of models, commercial licensing, stuff like that. I've ended up doing, separating out my tiers a little bit because I do, you know, a variety of different types of models and I want people to be able to pick and choose what they want. So I have a $12 tier, which is the deluxe, all of my models with commercial licensing. I have the boutique tier, which is all my like decorative dice tower, like um, kind of miscellaneous items like that for $8. And then I have my flexi tier, which is all flexi animals for $8. And I always include a welcome pack, the current month from when someone joins and the previous month. And also any subscriber exclusives that come out, they fit in either categories. And so you each have the welcome pack from them and then the deluxe is kind of a combined. And really everybody decides how they want to distribute their files. Um, some people allow access to the whole entire library up front. Some people allow only current month models and like a welcome pack here and there. So it really just depends on you and what your preference is of what you want to give out. But that's just how I've set it up. Um, so yeah, those are kind of the platforms that I'm on. Maker World is also a great platform for like individual models but they only allow free models up there, which for me personally limits how many what models I'm gonna put up there. But when they do go up, I do see, um, you know, some of them get some good attention and um, feedback on there as well. Anything that, you know, that's gonna be for marketing, but anything to help get eyes, more eyes on your stuff is good. And that's one of the reasons I am on, in addition to Patreon is both my mini factory and things because I see, and I get new eyes and new people coming in for my models that may find me on this platform that they wouldn't have found me otherwise. So those are kind of all the things, kind of my starter of where all the places I'm at and suggestions and kind of pros and cons. So hopefully this is helpful to y'all. 
and let me know if you have any questions. So I'll talk to y'all later.